Hello, welcome back. So, this lecture is as is uh, the continuation of Maven project. So, in our last lecture, we have seen what is Maven, uh, the you know the 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 benefits of Maven and how to configure the Maven. Now, it's time to create a project based on Maven. So, before we start our project, okay, let's get to used to a little bit uh, about some terminology that they use in Maven when you create a project you know there is a some couple of a uh, few terminology they use like group ID artifact ID so what is group ID group ID it's like a group name example like your company name could be a group ID and artifact ID it's a subgroup ID or subgroup name like your project name because so like in a company you know you may have a multiple project so each and every individual project name would be artifact ID okay it's an individual project so when you create a project based on Maven we have to fill up some information as like group ID and artifact ID so you have to give a name group ID so group ID like most of the times the people they use like their company uh, a name because you know you know uh, like group of project you know comes to a company so a group ID it's like a group name like company name a artifact ID it's like a subgroup or individual project name let's see an example we know about the jar file right so for selenium jar you know this is the code you know so you can either install download the jar file okay direct jar file or you know in in Maven project we're going to use the dependency code according to the jar file so if if you see the jar file it's it's nothing it's there is a uh, you know it's a uh, group ID artifact ID information and also the version of your uh, selenium Java jar file so here is a group ID you can see this is the company name for selenium org selenium HQ dot selenium and you can see artifact ID this is the project selenium dash Java since it's Selenium works with a different multiple language like a Java, Python, C Sharp, all those different different. So those are the individual project. That's why you know when they create a jar uh, for based on Java for for Selenium, the artifact ID give it the, uh, they give a name. It's Selenium Java. So maybe for the Python when they create a you know art, uh, jar file, not the jar file, Python would, would be say package. So their artifact ID would be Selenium, you know, Python, because those are the individual project, and that's uh, you know comes under the Selenium project. So Selenium, it's uh, you know the Selenium uh, org Selenium is the the group ID, which is a combination of all different different project, and artifact ID is the individual project name. Okay, so. This is the two terminology that you have to uh, you know, understand when you create a project based on Selenium. Now, to create a project, there's a two different ways we can create a project. We can create a project through command prompt. Command prompt, you know, uh, this is that you don't have to remember the code. You know, it's, you can search, uh, you know, Google, you know, the, the command, uh, the command for to creating a project. It will find it, or you can use this refer, you know, reference node, uh, my reference node. All you have to change here. So the first you can see is called ambient. So for any, uh, for any command regarding to MVN, uh, Maven, we have to use MBN. So first you will type MBN then architect type you can copy it then generate it means you know you're saying you know create a or generate a maven project so then next you have to see uh, say d uh, dash d group id so what's the group id so example i will give a company name like com dot code and box or com dot code and box automation lab then you have to give a artifact id which is your project name like into in project or Maven project and then you will see the D architect type architect ID which is the uh, template of Maven what template Maven have a lot of different template to create different type of project 
So for automation, when you build the automation framework, we use a common template. It's called Quickster. So this is the template name. We'll see it. Okay, we, we, I, will, I will show you. So uh, uh, you have to say Maven architect type, and this is the template. For automation framework, it's a quick start. Is the template, and then you will say, uh, you know, the next part would be uh, the same as it is. Uh, Dean, uh, um, the interactive mood equals to false. Okay, so that's the code. You know, you don't again. You don't have to remember, but the meaning I already explained to you. If you type in your command prompt, okay and then it will create a project as per the project name you give over here the, for the artifact ID and then after you create a project then you have to connect your project with Eclipse or whatever the uh, you know uh, uh, editor you, you use since we're going to use Eclipse so I can give you the steps that how you can connect your project with Eclipse so you 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 have to go to your command prompt again command you open your command prompt in your project folder so wherever your project you know like a C drive user your any folder you know open your command prompt from there or you have to be in your project directory in your through your command prompt and after that you will type MBN Eclipse clone Eclipse okay it will you will see that it will do something and it will give you the give you a, 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 a response like build success it means your project has been connected to Eclipse so configure in project folder to have so if you go to your then your same project folder you will see there is a dot class file and dot project files up there as soon as you see there is a dot class file and dot project files it means your project has been you know connected with your uh, Eclipse uh, with your Eclipse okay so open your Eclipse and after that open your Eclipse you uh, then go to file then import then existing you know you can uh, add, you know add that file uh, the same class file and and dot project file uh, you know uh, to your Eclipse okay you can import this okay and then finish it so this is one way there's another way that you can add you create a maven project you know from your eclipse okay let's see we'll we'll do a project create a project based on our eclipse so here is our eclipse okay 